everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be asked to participate in this collaboration. So thank you to Jamie from Border Bananas for inviting me to participate. And what I have done is taken a photo, it's a small vase from Kate Spade and it's something that I would love to have in my home. However, the price tag is just a little bit too steep. I needed a vase, but what I liked about this glass is that it looks very similar in shape to the Kate Spade version. And I have a couple paper plates here that I'm gonna use for the paint. And I have a few different shades of paint here, and I wanted to make sure that I got enough of what I needed, enough colors that I could even mix some if I needed to, to kind of replicate the color scheme on the Kate Spade version. So I also have these little sponge brushes. And taking a closer look at my inspiration photo, I'm noticing that the background paint on this face is not one consistent opaque color. Already, I think that the paint called Mineral is very close to the shade on the vase. So I don't know if I'll need much silver lining to offset that, but I will experiment and see what I can come up with. And this is the mineral shade and it does look very similar. What's great about this project is that it took virtually no money at all. All I had to do was buy a couple new paint shades. I already had the glass in my cupboard. I think the mineral is spot on. Um, but what's unfortunate is the coverage is really unforgiving. Since you're painting directly onto super smooth glass, you're gonna see every application stroke. So this is definitely going to need a couple of coats. So I will do that and come back. This is after two coats. The vase has about four coats of paint on it right now, and you can still see some of the application strokes up close, but all in all, it is covering pretty nicely, and it's nice and opaque. I'm gonna let this dry completely in front of a fan for a while. I'm gonna keep rotating it so all sides dry evenly, and then I'm going to move on to the next step. All right, this is my next progress shot, and as you can see, you can still see some of the application strokes in the glass, but that's okay because far away, they're really not that noticeable. So here's what we're looking at. Right now, I am going to tackle the top rim of the glass with some gold paint. And it's not gonna be quite as shiny because I'm not spray painting it, but I do have some gold paint that I'm going to be applying with a sponge again. So we'll see how close I can get it. At this point in the process, it's looking like a complete mess but I wanted to show you this step because I wanted you to see how I taped both the inside of the glass and the outside. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the top of the glass to dry, I'm going to get to work on these polka dots. Unfortunately, none of these little sponge applicators that I bought in the pack are small enough to make the size polka dots as in the picture. So what I'm gonna do is use the dowel end and I'm just gonna use this, dip it in the paint. So I have my cream color here, and I have more of the gold here, and I'm going to make this size polka dot right on the glass with that. All in all, the dots that I did don't look too bad, but they do have a little excess paint in the middle. It will be fine as long as it doesn't run, but I thought they came out pretty nice and circular, so I'm gonna continue on. Okay guys, this is my next progress shot. I have all the polka dots in place and I've also removed the tape toward the top of the glass just to see how the metallic gold came out on the rim. And it's really not too bad from the vantage point where this is going to be sitting um, compared to how people are gonna be able to see this in my home, it's really not gonna make a huge difference. The next step is going to be to let this completely dry and then I'm going to be spraying this with some sheer lacquer just to give it a really nice shiny finish. Okay, I'm ready for the final step in this. I just purchased this Rust-Oleum lacquer spray from Walmart. It says it has a high luster coating. So that's exactly what I'm after. I want this to be a very shiny vase. So I'm gonna give this a quick coat. I'm outside right now, so we just have this little particle board down just to protect the table, and this shouldn't take very long at all. So here is my finished Kate Spade Luxe vase creation. I am happy with the way it turned out. It's not an exact match by any means, but I'm really pleased with it and I really enjoyed the process of creating this and trying to match this up to something that inspired me so much. 
Thank you so much to Jamie from Board or Bananas for inviting me to participate in this challenge. It really got my creativity going and I was really happy to get back into a DIY mode and um, her channel is so great and I'm so glad to call her my friend. So um, please check out the playlist of the other ladies inspired creations and see what they have come up with. And thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Really, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.